Mrs. Davis. <laughs> Lovely morning, isn't it? Baker off blush face. <laughs> Spellbinding oratress girls. Enjoy the read. I did. Don't think you will. The article's in there. Yeah. Completely out of touch with current affairs. Well, what does he expect? It's all bad news. Well, that's not the half of it. Keep reading. Better suited to a... Whatever happened to baby Jane than for public office. I knew you reminded me of someone the first time I saw you. No, I wouldn't worry about it. He was writing about wedding planning rabbits a few weeks ago. Tomorrow's chip paper and all that. I couldn't give a tinkers. I've got better things to do than faff around with a load of star faced old fat cats anyhow. These are like my shadows. I can do my own shopping. I'm just looking out for you. It's Kelly that he's looking out for. The other day was just a warm up. I'll tell you how to deal with bother. The hot and cuddle. What's that? Heard of the Glasgow kiss. Yes! Well, well thank you, Noreen. Always nice to incite violent death on the Sabbath. Now away with you. Go spread your good cheer. Oh, I'm scared, Dad. We will get you through it, love. Look, in a few months, it's just going to be like a bad memory. But of what? Prison? I can't take it. I'll crack. Kelly needs a good hiding. OK, so we don't know for sure it was her. No, he's right. I could wring her skinny little neck. Shame of it. Scott? Scott, have you told him? What? I can't. <sighs> Has anyone seen my...? Is there, men? Yeah, I've got it. Bit short this week, Ashley. What happened? Your pen ran out. I've been a little preoccupied. What about Dawn? Ashley, you had no choice but to tell the truth. Dawn's not gonna blame you. Can't do anything. Peel the veg out of her. Wow, you are desperate. She's trying to do me out of a job. No, everything's in hand, thank you. Right, are we set? <laughs> Come on, darling, that's it. Oh, it go out now. Oh, oh, give me a surprise, hello. Come on, darling. Yes. Coming out? Yes, it's a church. Fancy coming? Yeah, of course. You know, because I love church, me. <laughs> I'm not going to church. Fascinating. It's your birthday the day after tomorrow. Yeah, I know. So, what do you want? Off you? Yeah. I want you to get lost and not come back until you find that little girl that you binned. Hey, how's your mate? Blondie Sugden. Oh, she seems all right, but she's had a pulmonary embolism. Oh, my God. What's one of them? I'm not really sure. Seems pretty bad. We just having tablets for it. Eee, hey, poor kid. Give her me best, will you? Will do. I'm going over there later. You got a cheek. I'm an Australian, yeah? How super grass. Yeah, now I know this. That's a group. Kelly's been educating me. Don't come the innocent with me, Rodney Blackstock. Poor girl. Kelly? Dawn? I'm afraid I'm totally lost. Vib, you can either tell me what you're blathering about or preferably get me a cup of black coffee and keep your mouth shut. Oi! Mind your manners. Don's getting done for benefit fraud. Really? Well, that's outrageous. The poor girl can't earn more than a pittance, but how is it my business? You share a bed with the malicious little Pete who turned her in. I'm out. What? The nut house? Garibaldi's? This flaming council thing. Oh, give over. Why? That. Oh, the interview? That's a bit rum. Eat cheeky blater. Oh, he likes me, though. Oh, no, that's well out of order. Water off a duck's back. Mind you, it's not every day you get compared to Bet Davis. Not one of our glamorous rules, though. I've always thought you had an, an air of the Cartlands myself. No, that's very hurtful. Hey, this pole they've done's got Eric steaming ahead. Is that why you're after jibbing out? I don't care about the ruddy pole! Thought you'd forgotten about me when not coming yesterday. I went out with Danny. Fell a bit wrong. That's all right, then. 
I used to think you were sick of the sight of me. No. You left Daz in charge today, have you? God, no. <laughs> not much of a farmer, eh? <laughs> nah, he's not that bad, really. Not like you. Remember when you tried to sex lands by looking at the faces? <laughs> Don't be mean. <laughs> Hiya, Mum. Oh, my God, you poor girl. What you've been through. I got off lightly. I'm so sorry. Me too. I can't believe this. No, neither can I. Mum, it's like a nightmare. It's a long time since we were. I know. But I did love him once. I'll get off now. Leave you too long. Oh, he's absolutely fine, weight-wise. You must be doing okay with his feet. Yeah, we are. He, uh, he drinks what he's given. Occasionally comes up this end, but <laughs> mostly it comes out that regular as clockwork. <laughs> like my Uncle Shadrach. Oh, thank heavens he isn't around, then. In fact, I've never seen the place so quiet. Well, it, it doesn't happen often. Must be nice when it does. Bliss. Be like this all the time soon when we get our own place. Oh, Sam, we talked about the mobile home. No, not that. The lad needs some space, doesn't he? Oh. Just three of us on our own, no one bothering us. Have you got somewhere in mind? Oh, not yet. Well, I think it's a great idea. So do I. <laughs> Debbie, I've got one of those drawers you've been begging for, washing up. Now try to stay calm. I'll try. Oh, I'm loving this. It's no monkey work for me to do. I'm sure you do. Has uh, Debbie made any progress towards patching things up with Lisa and Zach? I don't think so. Has she tried? Well, I don't know. I get the impression they aren't big on the forgive and forget thing. There's a limit to how long we can accommodate her. Her place is with her family. Well, you can't turn her out now. You know, we start work at the B&B tomorrow and she's really excited about it. Well, OK, in her own sulky way. Oh, I'm not about to put her on the street. Hopefully the job will instill in her a sense of direction. I've been trying to think of a tactful way of saying this, but I can't. Uh, dawn. Is this like word association? Um, sunset. Don't be clever, Kelly. Could have saved your breath there, I reckon. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? Why don't you spell it out? Did you drop Dawn in hot water? Viv and Donna have told me all about it. Since when did you treat their word as gospel? Are you denying it? Like Ivan denied having it off with Nicola, you mean? What's the point when you always believe the first thing you hear? I thought you would have learned your lesson. Thanks a lot, Rodney. Believe what you like. Like a witch. Oh, look, I'm sorry I accused you. I, it just seemed... Like something I do? Oh, well, of course. Anything snide goes down and I'm bound to be behind it, aren't I? Yeah, well, not this time. It was Scott that's just so interested. Now that I can believe. But why didn't you say? Viv and Donna think it was you. And Dawn and the rest. Oh, not for much longer. You can't say anything. Of course I'm going to say something. Scott stood there like a statue this morning while I learned all this. He could petrol bomb the cafe and Viv would swear blind it was an accident. I don't need the hassle and I couldn't care less what Dawn thinks. It's just easier to let everyone believe it's me. What were all that with nurse about moving out? That's something we should. Just like that? Yeah, just like that. I'm doing an Alice, you know, being dead brave and making big decisions. It doesn't sound much like me. Yeah, it is. You're my inspiration. It's too cramped here. I need to spread his wings. These things need paying for. There'll be bills, big ones, every month. It's not like here where you just pay what you can when you can. I'll work all the hours God sends, I don't care. I do, I'll never see you. No, 
need Lord Samson. Well, Chas can have a word with Carl for us. Oh. About an house on the development, family discount. They're for sale, Sam, not rent. We certainly could not afford that. I'm just looking out for my family, trying to make a little home for us. You've got to stop getting on at me when I'm trying to do right by you. Oh. We had some good times, didn't we, all of us? I can hardly remember, Mum. Sorry. Well, you were very young. We'll have some more. Life goes on. There's worse things than being with your mum, eh? Yeah. <laughs> you'll love Greece. Greece? Well, it'll be a big change to start with, but you'll love it. Oh, it's such a different way of life, Katie. It's so relaxed. It's in the 70s already back there. And the people, they're so friendly. Christos's family, they treat me like one of their own. Nice of Andy to come, all things considered. Yeah, well, that's what he's like. You've had a pretty horrible 12 months or so. Well, that's putting it mildly, Mum. Yeah, well, you can put all that behind you now. Move on, eh? New start, different country. Straighten out that twisted little brain. Whoa, 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 whoa. put it down. I'll put Go the on, darling, make it count. It's not just her life you're messing up, you know. She's got a little boy. Well, she should have thought about that before she started ripping the taxpayers off. The sponging cow. Well, what do you care? You get your kit off for some squalid cash in hand, and when that falls flat, latch onto a millionaire. Well, maybe you should try it. Good luck. If you lay a finger on a prosecution for benefit fraud, it'll be just one of your problems, I promise you. Kelly had nothing to do with it. Well, you would say that. No, I wouldn't. It's a dirty trick, and I sympathise. But you should take it up with Scott. He's the one who got you into this. Rubbish. No. No, don't bother, Rodney. Is that true? <sighs> Apology accepted. <laughs> Ah, Valerie. Campaign management's keeping you busy, I see. Ah, developing ideas. Yeah, do you want to hear me latest? Mm. Shut your fat trap before I smack it. Oh, how cultured. One can only hope you'll be writing the speeches for your um, questionable candidate. I haven't got a candidate anymore. She's pulled out. Oh, really? <laughs> Tragic. The uh, gladiatorial tussle in the pressure cooker arena of local politics proved too much, I presume? Do you know, that's pretty much exactly what she said. Mm. Oh, that, and she was sick of oily little nibbers sticking the boot in. Nibbers? Hmm. Still, the experience isn't lost. You've learned a valuable lesson. Stick to what you're good at. Hey, I've just developed another idea. Do you want to hear it? Mm. What? Oh, hello. Yes, this is she. All press, can't go anywhere. Shame, you're cluttering my bar. No, wrong tense pet was a campaign manager. She doesn't have a campaign anymore. But because the whole game is full of shine merchants, that's why. The only thing them lot can do is lunch and plenty of it. Yeah, you can quote what you like. Yeah, welcome. Yeah, see ya. You almost sounded like a concerned citizen then. I didn't know you cared. I don't. That doesn't mean that Eric Pollard deserves a clear run, though, does it? Go on the side for that bam. No, I can't. They've all got the tops off. Actually, go mad if you thought you'd seen something as simple as that. I'm only messing. It's nice having fusses around you. They all do it sweet. Sweet. Thanks. Well, the best conversation you get out of my lot is arguing which channel to watch. So go on. What was Ashley going on about at lunch? Seems to be having a right for it. Nothing. I don't remember something silly, I expect. I won't hang around forever, you know. No, you can stay as long as you like. Mm -hmm. Ashley and Laurel said so. They like having you. Mm -hmm. Tell them. Besides, you make the rest of us look good. <laughs> Spineless get. A good afternoon to you too. Not for you, in. Oh, yeah? I'm dealing with this, Jamie. How could you do that to me? 
I thought I knew what you were capable of, but even I didn't think you could be such a nasty, spiteful idiot! Come on, well, that does well, no good! Well, at least someone's still got them on. Shut it, Scott! Well, then, God. What's going on, Bob? Why don't we let Scott tell us, eh? I have no idea what you're talking about. Coward! Here's your grasp, Viv. Your wonderful son who's just doing his bit to keep the community honest. He's the reason I can't sleep for worrying and why you might end up in court as well, let's not forget. That's rubbish. It's Kelly and everyone knows it. So why are we so bothered about Dawn's benefits then? Ages ago, and I've just thought, you godless loser! Pathetic. Scott. I didn't think it would come to this. Oh, Scott. I'm sorry. If I could take it back, then I would. You know I'm sorry, Mum, don't you? If there's not enough work up at the factory and you're at a loose end, I could always find you some envelopes for you to stuff in some, um, Eric Pollard, the people's choice. Tell me, Eric, could you possibly be any sadder? <laughs> On the contrary, I'm very happy indeed. I would have won the election anyway, but it'll be a smoother road to victory now that I've brushed Noreen aside. <laughs> could I put you down for a rosette? Do you like picking on old ladies, do you? I can take it or leave it. How about a poster for your window? Maybe you should start picking on me. Get a few digs in early. <laughs> and again, in English. Me versus you. Oh. Gladiators. Oh. Maximus. Minnie Mouse. <laughs> <laughs> you as a candidate. Valerie, bless your plucky black heart. I was advised to distance myself from you and your nefarious ways for the sake of my own campaign. What sort of chance do you think you stand? Mm. Against a proper candidate, not much. But as it's you, I think I'm in with a shout. Oh. Councillor Lambert. It's got a ring. <laughs> well, enjoy that fantasy, because that's all it will be. It'll be easier and far more enjoyable than crushing Noreen. You big mouth cow! Oh, go away, Scott. But family are supposed to stick together. As Kelly said, go away, Scott. You've got everyone over there hating me now. Oh, but when everyone hated me, that was fine, was it? Everyone hates you anyway. Why couldn't you just keep your mouth shut? She did keep her mouth shut. I opened mine. So if you've got an issue, you take it up with me. And who are you, a pimp? Do you want me to propel you out of here myself? You try that and you'll end up in a cast, old man. What can I do? Watch. Well, let's do something. Pass us that spanner. Who's that? It's private. Hey, give us back. Carly? As in Carly from Vim Bob's wedding? Keeping in touch, love of I, are we? Kept that quiet. Shut it. Hi. Hey, Donna. You and Daz might be related soon. Oh, God. No offence. You left this at the hospital. She's miles better, isn't she? Yeah. Go about her out soon, I reckon. She'll have broken some Greek blocks out by summer. Oh, I wouldn't bank on it. No, even Kate's on that quick. No, but the look on her face when her mum was talking about Greece. So not interested. No? Didn't want to know. You could just tell. She's mad I would be over there like a shot. I mean, nothing left for her here, is there? I'm not saying that you don't deserve smacking, but it's... Pardon me, Viv, but there's no point dwelling on it. It'll just, it'll just eat you up. Violence isn't the solution. Well, I think it is. Don't... Remember. Can we talk? Well, you obviously can. Talk to all sorts of people, don't you? Are you going to tell him to get lost or shall I? Please, don't. It's on my private. <sighs> don't push it. I'm sorry. Is that it? No. When I did... What I did... I... Shot me to the benefit fraud, people. Stick in your throat, does it? It was a long time ago, Dawn. I thought they'd forgotten about it and, and I was happy. It was a heat of the moment thing. Is that supposed to make me feel better? Oh, I'm sorry I ruined your life, Dawn, but it was just in the heat of the moment, so can we still be friends? You're not exactly making this easy, are you? Oh, I'm sorry. Am, am I doing it wrong? I'm not used to people ruining my life. You'll have to bear with me. Yeah, and I haven't done that. You had a good try. 
I was working to get out of my situation. That's all down the toilet now. No job, no money. No money, no house. No house, no TJ. But that's all right, because it was just in the heat of the moment. So why don't we all go out and have a good laugh about it? Don't. I'm truly sorry. I, I just hated the fact that you'd kick me out. Otherwise, I, I wouldn't have done it. Please, don't tell me you're saying this is her fault. No. But what else am I supposed to say? I didn't mean to get anyone into trouble. Of course you did, or you wouldn't have done it. We're all sick and tired of your stupid, selfish ways. I want you to go to your room. <laughs> Mum, I'm a bit old for that. I want you to go to your room, pack your things and leave. What? Come on. Yeah, well, who's going to make me, eh? You? Him? Oh, I'll have a good go. I don't think it's in your best interest if I call the police. And I'm not falling for your sad stories and your puppy dog looks anymore. You have ripped this family apart for the last time and I want you out now!